a gesture of love at the Team Hoyt statue in Hopkinton. This triumphant image of Rick Hoyt's raised fist is how people are remembering him tonight as we honor his legacy after his sudden passing at the age of 61. The Hoyts were an incredible father-son team who embodied Boston strong, resilient and upbeat even in the toughest competitions. Rick crossed the Boston Marathon finish line more than 30 times with his father Dick pushing his wheelchair. WBZ spoke with family members about some of their favorite memories, but we begin tonight with Ken McLeod's look at Rick's inspiring journey. Along the marathon route in Newton this evening, many runners and walkers worked up a sweat while reflecting on an iconic figure gone. He led the path for disabled people to join able people in a race. Go get him, guys! She's talking about Rick Hoyt, of course, who with his late dad, Dick, were a dynamic duo in the Boston Marathon for more than three decades, shattering all sorts of perceptions. You're getting teary-eyed. I'm getting teary-eyed. It was just incredibly emotional. It was, am it was amazing to see. The walls of intimidation crumbled, and people started realizing that Maybe that's something we can do, too. Former marathon race director Dave McGilvery first met the Hoyts at the Falmouth Road Race in the 1970s, and they became lifelong friends. With McGilvery helping them tackle everything from triathlons to cross-country treks, more than a thousand dual events in all, and he saw the strength and perseverance that father drew from son. He clawed away 61 years, and he persevered, and... He overcame his disability. Rick died this morning from respiratory complications, a chronic problem for those living with cerebral palsy. But when he was racing, Rick often said he didn't feel disabled. It feels fantastic to know that Dad and I are a part of the history of the marathon. Team Hoyt, Rick Hoyt's legacy is yes, you can. And while converting hardship into achievement, the iconic image of father and son inspired legions of runners and spectators. I don't think anyone got a larger round of applause when they came through and more cheering than the Hoyt family. Of course, the Boston Marathon is packed with inspiring stories, so the Hoyt's mission statement is almost certain to stick around, even in their absence. If you want it, believe it, do it. Tonight, someone left a single bouquet of flowers here at the Hoyt statue near the marathon starting line, a spot destined to become a place of last minute reflection for many future marathon runners. In Hopkinton, Ken McLeod, WBZ News.